Shafa joins us, uh, Vice Chairman of uh, uh, MEP Infra, to, uh, to detail us uh, some, some of the recent plans of the company. Jayant, hi, good morning. Uh, uh, you know, can you give us an update on the Mumbai Entry uh, pro Points project uh, and what kind of uh, contribution in terms of bottom line will it make to your numbers? Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, basically, uh, MEP Ideal Infra is uh, predominantly currently working in around 10 to 11 states. Uh, uh, Maharashtra also has a significant presence uh, as far as the company is concerned. Mumbai Entry Point Project uh, is one of the top uh, revenue gainers in terms of uh, in terms of the profitability, if I per se, if I may say so. Uh, the current uh, top line, what we expect for Mumbai Entry Points, would be close to around uh, 400 crores for uh, FY16. Okay. Uh, sir, can you tell us about uh, what's taking place in terms of bidding for long-term projects as opposed to short-term projects? What might be the margin difference uh, for the company? Sure. Uh, as far as uh, long-term projects are concerned, uh, there is a uh, pipeline or there is a number of projects which are up for likely to come for bidding in terms of uh, OMT oblique, the TOT projects which we all are being waiting. Uh, our understanding is by end of this month, the projects should be out for, for bidding. Uh, as far as the current trend and the run rate is concerned, uh, MEP is uh, currently doing a revenue of around 70% uh, on, uh, cl close to around 70% on the long-term basis and uh, the balance 30 on the short-term basis. Short term basis, the company has backed uh, around five projects in the last uh, month and a half, which we have announced already. And uh, we are happy to announce that all those projects which uh, LOAs were received have started the commercial operation uh, in the last uh, week or so. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let's talk about your uh, overall numbers, Jayant, because last year was not so good for you, but the first two quarters of this year have been quite okay. Uh, what kind of uh, sales and profit do you think or, or top line and profit do you think you'll be able to report? Uh, we had given a guidance uh, during our uh, quarter reports and for the first quarter and the second quarter. Exactly. Basically, as per the guidance, uh, we are already on track as far as the top line and the EBITDA numbers are concerned. We had given a guidance of close to around uh, 2,000 plus crores of revenue and uh, EBITDA close to around 600 crores. Uh, for the second quarter, which is the uh, uh, H1, the company has already clocked revenues of around close to 989 crores on consolidated basis and also an EBITDA of around 299, which is in line with the uh, guidance or the expectation of the company. Okay. Can you tell us about um, any update on your Chennai project, which had led to a shortfall in revenues in the previous year? Uh, sure. Basically, Chennai uh, project is something which is under, uh, I would say, dispute with the authority where we had already approached the Delhi High Court, which has uh, guided both the authority and us to do an amicable resolution of the particular project. Uh, based on that, uh, we have been uh, following up with the authority and uh, there is a 3CGM committee which was appointed by authority for amicable resolution of the issue. Uh, as of now, the discussions uh, and uh, deliberations with the authority are underway. We expect the early resolution uh, and in fact, we have been uh, pushing very hard the authority as far as this particular project is concerned, considering the last few days where Chennai has been under water and so has uh, impacted the revenues which are uh, definitely going to affect the overall performance of that project. Uh, however, uh, as far as we are concerned, we are currently paying what we are collecting minus the O&M expenses as per the authorities' uh, understanding with us. Okay, and uh, uh, so, uh, you know, in terms of uh, your uh, margin picture, Jen, uh, what kind of guidance can you give us? Uh, the company has done, uh, for the first quarter and second quarter, we've done po pat positive. In fact, uh, as a part of the last uh, board meeting, we already have dividend, uh, declared a nominal dividend, which was paid as an interim dividend to the stakeholders of the company. Uh, as far as uh, the guidance is concerned, uh, I would say uh, we have clocked a pat of uh, 10.99, which is uh, around... Uh, uh, I would say 31% uh, EBITDA also has uh, moved up from the last uh, year. So we expect a similar run rate or a better run rate based on we have a rate revision, uh, uh, not a rate revision, I would say, uh, uh, interest rate uh, revision uh, for our Mumbai project uh, during uh, this month. So we expect some kind of, a, uh, I would say, definitely a reduction on that, which will yield some uh, better profitability for the company. Okay, fair enough, Jayant. We're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and talking to us. So that's the view coming in from MEP Infra.